If you've clicked on this video, then I'm going to assume that you're about to go hunting for the majestic blue water base. In this video, we're going to go over absolutely everything that you could possibly need in order to hunt these guys in the most effective way possible. Timestamps are in the description, so if you're looking for something specific, take a look down there. But if not, let's just go and get straight into the guide. The blue water base have a decent variety of fur types and colors, making them a really cool target due to the unique colors that they can possess. You can mainly expect to find the typical light grey and dark grey common fur types on the majority of the animals, with a few uncommon gold colours thrown in there every now and then. These aren't as rare as they used to be however, despite how cool that they are. The true rares that you'll be looking for are the albino and the crowned variants. These are very very hard to find and they make a truly stunning trophy if you can actually manage to get one. That's all the fur types covered off so let's talk about diamonds. For the wildebeest, you need a score of at least 37.6 for the animal to make a diamond. Keep an eye out for high score estimates on the level 4s too though, as this species does often make diamond at level 4. The minimum weights you're going to be looking for in terms of diamond requirements are 290 kilograms or 639 pounds depending on your settings. If you're like the majority of people and hunt at lakes during drink times, then you're going to want to pay attention to this section right now. Blue water beasts drink between the hours of 6am and 9.30am. A little tip I have for you is to sleep in your bed until 6.31am before going on your hunt. This will ensure the most of, if not all of the animals have settled into their drink zones by the time that you reach the lakes you're hunting. We'll go over these zones very very shortly. Weaponry is rather simple for these guys. They're a class 6 species, meaning that they can be hunted using a wide variety of weapons. The rifles that I do recommend for this animal though are the 308 AR, the 303, and the trusty old 7mm. If you're a bow hunter or favour the crossbow, then you'll simply need to use the 420 grain arrows or bolts. And of course, if you like a challenge and want to hunt the wildebeest with a shotgun for a really cool trophy, then I definitely recommend the 12 gauge and using the slugs. They will drop like a sack of spuds, trust me. Now for the part you've all been waiting for, no doubt. The hotspots. The wildebeest tend to favour the east side of the map as is evident on my hotspot map. I don't tend to find one spot better than the other with any of these spots. You'll pretty much find animals at every single one. However, if I could only hunt one lake for the wildebeest, I would definitely lean towards the bottom lake. Typically, there will be large herds hanging around here giving you plenty to choose from. Just tread carefully or there will be a loud stampede. Feel free to screenshot this and save the hotspot map for yourself. Finally, let's quickly go over shot placement. You're almost always going to want to aim in the blue behind the shoulder blade in order to hit the lungs. The wildebeest have very, very large lungs and they can be hit from most angles, making it a very reliable shot and it will kill them really, really quickly. If you do want a challenge though, go for the heart. It's an instant kill, but it is much harder to hit. So get used to aiming for the lungs first. Don't aim for the spine. It will kill instantly, sure, but it will also prevent you getting full score unless you are able to hit another organ alongside that. So I mostly just play it safe and aim for the lungs if you've got a really big trophy. That concludes this guide, guys. I hope you found it helpful and I uh, didn't waste too much of your time. If you're still here, I just want you to know that you're a total legend and I really do appreciate it. Feel free to leave any questions or comments down below and let me know if there are any animals you would like to see a guide on next. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching my Wildebeest guide. If you did find it helpful, please do leave a like, leave a comment, and hit that subscribe button, of course. Really do appreciate it, and it helps me out more than you know. If you would like to see more from me, check out this video here. YouTube seems to think you're going to like it, so you might as well check it out, trust them, and let me know what you think.